After opening the box, please check the contents of the box carefully. The list is as follows. A manuscript, a piece of sanding paper, and one electrode, a bottle of electrolyte. The residual chlorine electrode is composed of airplug connection port, electrode, membrane cap and cap protection cover. Let's demonstrate how to add electrolyte. First remove the membrane cap. Place the membrane cap with a protective cap on a horizontal table. Do not directly touch the membrane of the membrane cap to the table, so that the membrane damage cannot be measured. Place the sanding paper rough side up on the table. Hold the electrode vertically. Grind the working electrode back and forth in an 8 shape on the rough surface of the polishing paper for 2 to 3 times. Pull down the rubber ring on the membrane cap to expose the pressure relief hole. Unscrew the electrolyte bottle cap. Fill the electrolyte along the inner wall of the membrane cap until it reaches the thread. Try to avoid bubbles in the cap during the process which will affect the measurement accuracy. If there are air bubbles in the membrane cap, use a pole to stir gently until the air bubbles disappear completely. Put the sensor body upright on the membrane cap. Turn the electrode counterclockwise until the threads engage. After tightening, move the rubber ring to its original position and cover the pressure relief hole. Rinse the residual electrolyte on the electrode with pure water. Do not directly flush the membrane cap during the process. The following shows how to install the sensor in the flow cell. Accessories such as flow cells and cables are available upon request. Insert the electrode filled with electrolyte vertically into the flow cell. Make sure the bottom of the electrode is 2 cm to 2.5 cm from the bottom of the flow cell. Tighten the sealing rubber ring of the flow cell and turn on the water and electricity for hydration. Please complete the operation of electrifying the electrode filled with electrolyte within 15 minutes. Otherwise the electrode may be damaged. If the sensor needs to be stored or transported again after use, the electrolyte in the membrane cap should be poured out. Rinse the electrode head with warm water, not higher than 40 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes until the residual electrolyte is completely cleaned. After cleaning, it should be placed in a cool and ventilated place to air dry, and the sensor should be completely dried before storage and transportation. If the residual electrolyte is not cleaned up, it will permanently damage the membrane cap.